Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Welcome to the Big Idea series where we answer curious questions for curious minds. What are primates? You may have seen monkeys at the zoo or watched documentaries about gorillas in the wild. But what exactly is a primate? And did you know that humans are primates too? Let's explore together. Primates are a group of mammals that include some very familiar animals, like monkeys, apes, and yes, people. This group also includes animals like lemurs, lorises, and tarsiers, which you might not hear about as often. So, what makes a primate a primate? Let's break it down. Primates usually have large brains compared to the size of their bodies. This helps them think, solve problems, and sometimes even use tools. They also have forward-facing eyes, which helps them see in 3D. This is great for climbing and jumping through trees because they can judge distances really well. Primates also have grasping hands and feet with opposable thumbs. That means their thumbs can touch their other fingers just like ours. This helps them grab branches, peel fruit, and even groom each other. Primates are very social animals. Many live in groups called troops, bands, or families. They use sounds, body language, and facial expressions to communicate with each other. Some, like chimpanzees, even use tools to get food or solve problems. For example, chimps use sticks to catch termites. That's something not many animals can do. Primates live in many parts of the world, mostly in tropical areas. You can find them in Africa, Asia, Central and South America, and on the islands like Madagascar. Most primates live in trees, especially smaller ones like tamarinds and marmosets. Others, like baboons, spend more time on the ground. Primates have been around for a long time, about 60 million years. Scientists think the first primates were small, tree-dwelling animals that came out mostly at night. Over time, different types of primates evolved. Some stayed small and lived in trees. Others, like apes, grew larger and developed stronger brains. Humans are part of the great ape group. That includes gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, and orangutans. So, what makes humans special if we're primates too? Well, humans are the only primates that walk fully upright on two legs all of the time. We also have the most complex language and we create things like art, machines, and cities. But when it comes to our bodies and our DNA, we're not all that different from other primates. In fact, chimpanzees share over 98% of their DNA with humans. That means we're closer to chimps than chimps are to monkeys. Scientists study primates to learn more about how humans evolved, how we behave, and even how we care for others. Some primates are known for showing kindness and teamwork. For example, bonobos are peaceful animals that share food and avoid fighting when they can. Watching other primates helps us learn not only about biology, but also about emotions, friendships, and family. Now let's take a closer look at the different types of primates. There are two main groups, Strepsorhines and Haplorhines. Strepsorhines include lemurs, lorises, and gallopos. They usually have better night vision and a strong sense of smell. Most of them are found in Madagascar and parts of Asia and other parts of Africa. Haplorhines, 
include monkeys, apes, and humans. They usually rely more on sight than smell and are more active during the day. Within the monkey group, there are two types, New World monkeys and Old World monkeys. New World monkeys live in Central and South America. They often have long tails that can wrap around branches. These are called prehensile tails. Examples include spider monkeys and howler monkeys. Old World monkeys live in Africa and Asia. They don't have prehensile tails and many of them spend time on the ground. Baboons and macaques are good examples. Apes are different from monkeys. They don't have tails and they're usually larger. Apes include gibbons, gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and of course, humans. Apes are known for being especially intelligent. They can learn sign language, use tools, and even recognize themselves in mirrors. Sadly, many primates today are in danger. Their homes are being cut down for farming or building. Some are hunted or captured for the pet trade. Conservation groups are working hard to protect primates and their habitats. We can help too by learning more, supporting wildlife groups, and making choices that are better for the environment. So, to review, primates are a diverse and fascinating group of mammals. They're smart, social, and full of personality. From the tiny mouse lemur to the powerful gorilla and even to us, primates share a connection that stretches back millions of years. Thanks for watching the Big Idea series where we answer curious questions for curious minds. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.